I am playing the game Legend of Grimrock 2. Maybe you've heard of it. It is absolutely the worst first person shooter I have ever played. You can't jump, you can't aim, there aren't even any good weapons, just a bunch of spells, swords, knives, spears, and bows. All in all, this is by far the worst game I have ever played. And so it would be if this was indeed a first person shooter. Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2 are the gold standard of dungeon crawl games. But if you go in with the expectation of a first person shooter, you are going to be sorely disappointed. Control Alt Ninja, the creators of Legend of Grimrock, Legend of Grimrock, have a new game called Druidstone, The Secret of the Menhir Forest. These names just get longer and longer, I tell you. I love the Grimrock games and was very excited to see that they decide to go a very different direction with the new game. Instead of trying something tried and true, they appear to want to stretch themselves and bring their own brand of quality to a new genre. Nothing wrong with trying something new for sure. Druidstone has all the drapings of a tactics RPG. There are a variety of different characters that unlock different abilities as they level up. You get to buy equipment and unique gear, and more or less kill enemies without prejudice. Or at least that's what every trailer would have you believe. But Druidstone is not a tactics RPG. No more than Grimrock is a first person shooter. Druidstone is a puzzle strategy game through and through. Each mission, you are given a set of objectives and a set of bonus objectives. Each round, you get to move and position your characters, use abilities, and interact with the environment before the enemies get to move, attack, and spawn reinforcements. If this sounds similar to Into the Breach, it's because it is. You are trying to balance a limited number of resources, example, actions, as you try to accomplish your goals, all the while, enemies continue to multiply and increase their threat across the map. Each character has a limited number of special actions that can help them send the tide for a while, but the real task of the game is trying to figure out how to use your skills to successfully navigate through an ever-increasing difficult situation. Outside of combat, you're able to learn new skills, slot power-up gems into skills that unlock varied bonus effects, and equip gear. This loadout system also plays out as a puzzle, as you try to create a loadout that will successfully get you through the next encounter. If you fail an encounter, you can simply respect your team and try again. If you are still not convinced that Druidstone is a puzzle game, I shouldn't have been surprised that the developers of two of the best puzzle dungeon crawl games would make yet another puzzle game. Dungeon crawl much? Not knowing this was a puzzle game for several hours into my enjoyment and frustration levels went something like this. Don't get me started on the necromancer fight that I spent nearly three hours trying to figure out before I paused and thought, hey, this is a puzzle game. Maybe punching the necromancer in the face repeatedly isn't the best strategy. If you like puzzle games, you very well might like Druidstone. But don't come in expecting something that it is not. There are RPG elements found within the game, but only as much as carrot cake is made with carrots, and not 90% sugar. The carrots being the RPG elements and the sugar being the puzzle... Oh, okay, so I botched that. What about other elements of the game, you ask? Well, obviously it's delicious. I mean, visually appealing. The gameplay is solid, as expected from the creators of The Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2. The music, moving. The writing? Yeah, not good, actually. It's... It's like eating carrot cake on a paper plate, though. It really doesn't detract from the taste. So what is my final rating? I firmly put it between Legend of Grimrock 1 and Legend of Grimrock 2, and adjacent to Into the Breach. Also, well below Dark Souls 3. Druidstone is good. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and give us a thumbs up. The thumbs up, in addition to mean that you like the content, lets YouTube know that it's going to offer you more content from this channel when we get more content, because this is the first video that is on the channel. Also, comment below, what game would you like to see us review? Until then, see you around. Bye.